And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo's Fate. That's going to be our next deck. This is going to be an Echo Twisted Fate deck. We're, we're uh, combining Echo with Bilgewater because Bilgewater has a lot of cool card draw and things like that. This is definitely kind of a test deck, right? It's, it's a little crazy of a list, but that's the thing about early in the format like this. We just want to kind of test what is going on and uh, see what cards look good together. One thing that we really wanted to try with this is new slot bot. And that's what this kind of is, is, is like a new slot bot list. So slot bot, of course, now says when I'm summoned or round start, grant me that plus zero, plus one for each card you drew last round and shuffle the stats. So it gets a bonus as soon as it's summoned. We kind of talked about that before, how um, that makes it, you know, like where you can you can play all your card draw cards like in whatever round, like you play your Twisted Fate, play all your card draw, you draw into your slot bot, you can play your slot bot and get all the bonuses from that card draw you had the previous round. And uh, makes that very good. Anyway, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Looks like it could be pretty cool. It was a difficult deck to build. We ended up not going as much with the discard. We still have like stress testing rummage. Those cards are amazing. But ended up not playing um, a lot of the other discard cards. Thinking that they probably just won't have that big of an impact. Even if we could discard them. So no jury rig. No Zonite Urchin. No Flame Chompers. <clears throat> just didn't end up having room for them. Because you know you can only play 40 cards. And there are more than 40 good cards, so uh, ended up not playing those. So let's see how it does. Anyway, Echo's Fate. We'll go play five games in ranked. Oh, it looks like we're playing against Echo Zillion. We had Echo Mirror. <laughs> Puppy's just sitting real good right here, right next to me. Let's see. I don't know. I could see keeping these cards. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna mulligan the thermogenic beam. We'll find other removal probably. Probably. Ooh, alright, we get two fallen felines. Get those hexite crystals in and then time trick, then predict and shuffle them. Because that's the thing, is like even if we don't we don't have like a ton of predict, but we have some. And even if we don't see um, the Hexite Crystal in the Predict, at least shuffle it back in and it can be anywhere in the deck after that. Um, I'm only missing an attack for two by playing this. It's not like attack for two is that important. <laughs> Test them out. Me. They got the drop border in. This is a card that I've been very disappointed in whenever I was playing it. I really felt like the drop border um, was not a very useful card and wouldn't really recommend having drop border in your deck. Alright, stress testing probably going to be pretty good with rummage. I think that's where I want to be. Great card. As you know, I wanted to play the Twisted Fate next. Twisted Fate will get vulnerable, but I guess that's just how it is. Okay, or we'll just do this. Slot bot. Nice day, if you're into coughing. Yeah, that's what we try to do the first day, is try to use drop order with Xenotype Researchers. But it, it's just not worth it. Always 
up for a round or two. Eyes open. Zillion Echo usually does a really good job of killing tutus. Like that. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Okay. Want to make me a few extra boards? Yes! I, I mean, sure, you know, whatever. Unfortunate. That's new. You're provoking it. Careful here, researchers. There's no rush. So I have that slot bot. Get the five next round. Or. I think that's worth it. Yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, that's right. We also put the more copies into the deck. I, I forgot about the whole create three more copies of the chosen card into your deck. And so I'm not sure how useful that is. Um, yeah, I don't care about any of these things. I guess I could block a 1-3, but I have this fortune croaker. to keep us safe. Yeah, Alright, good looking hexite crystal. All right, so Zillion will level up. Unfortunately, they found two of their four time bombs. So, four, five, six. So I don't have enough for thermogenic beam. Surprised they played that feline into my very obvious hex fight crystal. A little surprised by that. Never had luck, never needed it. I gotta kill the Zillion. If I kill the Echo, then the Zillion just makes another copy of Echo the next round. Ugh. Oh man, that's so good. Never learn. 
At least this card's fleeting, so they don't get you don't get a copy of it with the with the zillion. They will get that other. They will get an additional hexite crystal though this next round. Oh no! Oh man! That's just lethal. Wow. <sighs> yeah, I guess I just shouldn't attacked. All right. Well. Wait. Really? You don't want to just like attack for lethal or anything? No? Huh. Alright, well. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Never mind, I guess the opponent's gonna keep high rolling. Alright, 0 and 1. The deck was stacked against us. Sejuani is the only champion. So this is gonna be a they who endure deck, maybe? Could also see it being like a Yeti deck. Hmm. I like all four of these cards, but round one pool shark isn't necessarily a good play, even though we'd have like the fortune croaker to go right after it. I was kind of thinking like pra practical perfectionist on three, like twist of fate on four, and then start unloading like this stuff on five. Um Welcome. <laughs> Come on, really a 5-1? Oh, they didn't punish me. Oh yeah. Now just a 5-2. Oh man, that's scary. I was definitely thinking like Vile Feast. You know, like that kind of that kind of stuff. Oh man. Alright. Soak it in. Check practical perfectionist art. There's echo on there. That's the counterfeit copies with the the machine that she was using. That was that was the counterfeit copies. I'm doing great, Patek. How are you doing? So many tiny. What is going on over here besides us dying? More time tricks. Okay, cool. So that this is so that's counterfeit copies. Oh, howling abyss. Serpentine. 
kind of want to take that practical perfectionist. Yeah. Even though it doesn't necessarily draw a card. Again. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Kind of glad I didn't play another pool shark right now. Thank you. Have some health. That's that's what I want. Is I want that slot bot to have some health. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Well. That's unfortunate. The slot bot's about to get huge. Maybe it's better to not trade. But then again, the slot bot's just gonna get blocked by hapless aristocrat, but it's gonna be huge. So right now it has eight stats, it's about to get six, seven, eight, it's about to get eight more. How are we doing this? Just out of Let's get a crystal in the deck. I'm thinking like get two crystals in the deck and then perfectionist. I think they just wanted to draw a card. Put that down right in front of the red card. I guess we take another Echo or another Slop on. So this is number four. Maybe we just take this other Slop on. Slop bot's at eight. Dead in their tracks. I'll be right back. All right, that spider dead.
And like the slot bot I can play right now. And shuffle up eight stats. And play the perfectionist next round and make it to the echoes. Leveled up. Man, these Tarkazes. Opponent smart. Tarkaz, great, great blocker. I like the opponent's deck. Opponent's deck's pretty sweet. Take me for a spin. Ha ha. Ha ha. For winners. And no one else? Just you, huh? And no one else? Okay, we can get this other Fallen Feline to get another Hexite Crystal A into the deck before our fifth predict. They have two more champions that we don't know about yet. Perfect. Now, we, now we get, let's get more Time Tricks into the deck. That's like the best thing to hit. Figured they had that. Let's get those chrono breaks in the deck. And now we have the time trick on top. Oh, I should have played the full shark. Yeah, I should have played full shark. Yeah, but whenever your deck doesn't care about attacking at all, the Tarkaz just being a 5-8 is a wonderful blocker when attacking doesn't matter. I should play the Pool Shark. And you get to rally? I can't believe they have rally as a part of this. Just play this card they know about. You guys gonna be okay. Oh man, the absolute best. And it looks like the visual bug camp comes back. Just to rub it in your face with the uh, with the invoke choices. Overwhelm. Give I kill you, I love fortune, stupid. Can we get another chrono break? What? Scared of chrono break? 
the line. Down to five. I was my my plan was just to open attack, but drawing this called shot, I guess I can just rummage it away. It does make me want to play this and just draw a new card. What card did they burn? I don't even know what card they burned. Avalanche. All right, so let's play this first. This is just the correct order to do it because of cards like Withering Whale, healing the Nexus. Because if I if I play this and like try to deny the two cards that they draw, then they get to Withering Whale. And then I only have the one to respond to, where if I let that happen... I guess I still only have the one to respond to. But then at that point, they're at two life, and so the one to respond kills them. So, yep, that's the way to do it. Alright, GG's. Gotta get those Hexite Crystals, eh? One and one. Thank you, Patek. We got it. Got an easy win. That one was never in doubt. Easy win. <laughs> yeah, they make the hex lens specs out of the hexite crystals, eh? Make it rain good here. I'm gonna send it back.
There's like the one lurker that has the one health, but I feel like for the most part they have two health. Oh no, don't challenge my kitty cat. The fallen feline. Perfectly fine with me. Time trick. I think a bunch of Mega Rains, but no, I think we just go with the time trick. See you soon, friendos. I think it's hard. Attacking for four is a lot of attacking. Locks in. Um. Oh, I should play it because of the free attack. Never punished. Okay. My plans. Do, 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 do. Feels like they're saving up four mana for Pike's spell. Which I think I can let them kill a Twisted Fate. So I go Twisted Fate blue card. They go Pike spell. I mean, Pike Spell is just amazing, right? So, like, if they got it, they got it. It's not easy to play around. But we at least draw a card. My plan, the reason why I played that was to play like this slot bot this round. Welcome. Eh, 6-3. I wish I would've just played the dredger.
go on then. Optimal outcome achieved. I guess I'm not really exactly expecting, like knowing what I'm supposed to be expecting this slump bot to do. Yeah, maybe I should just be, I should have probably just blocked this hammer snout, shouldn't I? Yeah, so we know Rek'Sai was the top card they just drew. Gotta go with the flow. Yay! That's the kind of card I was really hoping to draw. Yeah, Sprayfin with that Hexite Crystal is pretty nice. And so, like, they don't know about this Hexite Crystal right now. Can I do, like... Okay, you can't do both. You can't do that as a slow speed card and Hexite Crystal. This gains the spell shield. I can't I, I can't see that number because of my camera. Where are we at? We're at three. So this is about to be four. I'm thinking that like they play something else this round and then I thermogenic beams, that's what I was thinking that. So it looks like they're gonna be leveling up Rek'Sai this round. They're probably, I mean, they'd have to have a third Rek'Sai to put a third Rek'Sai back on top for that. That is the case, that thing's gone now. Whoa, they already put something back on top and now they're using that? I guess the Elusive doesn't really matter. Kind of the only thing that... So like that doesn't kill them right now. The one thing I'm real scared of is, like, Pike Spell, right? Don't be Pike Spell. Oh, it's Pike Spell. All right, well. It's 
So that just kills all of my stuff? Oh, I guess I didn't realize it was going to do that. And so I can't do anything about that, can I? That's just the way it is. I mean, not really, like, what do you mean punished? If I would have just opened an attack, they would have killed everything. I mean, I guess I could have played more blockers afterwards, but... Um... Nothing really to do there. I think they pushed that card pretty hard. I think they pushed that card pretty hard. So we'll still be fine as long as they don't... Like, right here, we're still fine as long as uh, that's not, like, Rek'Sai on top that gives the plus two. Because one, making that eight, that's okay. Hexland Specs, eh? I mean, stress testing is very good with the rummage. I could just take that, but then again, it's probably best just to take another time trick. So I can... This thing's only till end of round. Keep taking time tricks? Kind of feel like I'm supposed to take this stress testing. They know about this Hexite Crystal, so it's like, you know, like they're playing around it as well. Yeah, I know the Piranha would have killed me. I am I have to take risks right now. I could have played this first, I guess, and then and then played that though. But I wanted to do this before. I wanted to do that first. I didn't want to let them just block with the two health thing that they knew was gonna die. I guess sometimes your opponent just draws every single pike. I guess sometimes that happens. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this Zerzareth kills us. No matter what I find. GG Pike, GG. That was that was all Pike. Okay, so Zed Fiora probably has the new Scout spell. What's up, Agent Iowa? Loving the new patch and expansion. Absolutely. Game feels really fresh, really new. Again, definitely loving it. So my plan is to go round two, Pool Shark. Round three, Sump Dredger, discard whatever we get. Hopefully we get some card that's not that good. We play in build rules, Sump. Stress testing. Well, that changes things. Because I don't want to discard stress testing because then we get a fleeting card that I can't deal with. So that changes things. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, Blade Keeper, yeah, that buff to Blade Keeper is very nice. Wait a minute. That does definitely make Blade Keeper better. We have the two Hexite Crystals, unfortunately didn't see either one. Man, these champions. <laughs> We're just getting destroyed by champions. Pike now Zed. going. 
got it. Yep. <laughs> we gotta try. If they just also have a, th a three mana rally with all that stuff, I, you know, we're just gonna lose, but. Just how it is. Brave would have been good. I wish I didn't just play that time thing first. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, GG's. That's, I mean, what my opponent was just doing is what we're going to be trying to do up next with our Zed deck. We're just playing Lee Sin for our other champion instead of Fiora. That's going to be the same thing that we're doing, trying to do up next. You just play your Zed, buff him up. That's it. All right, let's let's try again. Hopefully, opponent doesn't find three pikes. I think that's like the only way we lose if they find three pikes. I think we should be good at besides that. Feel just fine about this matchup. I think they found a bug. I got surprised today when I had stunned Zed and he spawned clone in back row for some reason. I used Cataclysm with stunned Zed. Yeah, like the, the stunned Zed is attacking, so whenever it attacks, a, like with the Cataclysm, it's going to put the Living Shadow into play. It doesn't matter. Like the stun doesn't matter in that scenario. Cataclysm will put the Living Shadow into play attacking. But you're saying, like, the Catac... Yes, I, I guess I don't get it. Okay, so the, the Living Shadow went in the back row, not attacking. Oh, I gotcha. Slotbot has looked good in our deck. Oh, yeah. As we're still trying to figure out like the whole rest of the deck, everything like that, the Slotbot has looked good. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. All that glitters. My opponent has the pike spell. Is there can you see the animation or something? So we know that top card is Rek'Sai. Why was red card better there? I guess they didn't believe my my bluff of Blocking with Twisted Fate, saying that I have another Twisted Fate, so don't play your Rek'Sai because it gets stunned. They called it, they didn't believe it. Do I want to make three additional copies of any of these? Do I want like three additional rummages at two mana, Mystic Shots? Not really. So 
There's another Rek Sai right there. A game. Go on then. Pike's great. Pike is great. Shot. Guess I should grab Mystic Shot. Really wish I would have just grabbed Mystic Shot. And kind of wish I'd waited on. Like, I think that there's a lot of different things I could have done. Like, basically all these games, right? Like, the, the a lot of decisions. I'm sure I could have been made better ones. Like, I guess I needed. It, it's. You know, we're still learning, though. I guess, like, the, the whole Twisted Fate, right? Like, I played Twisted Fate a lot earlier. Got it to save Twisted Fate uh, for later. I guess I should have blocked, like, that 9 power thing. I. I need to play this game completely differently than what I did. I mean, there's not much of a way for me to stomp this thing. Maybe they missed. Legends of Runeterra is a difficult game. It's a difficult game. I think that I had, I had the cards that if I would have played perfectly or really you know understood exactly what was going on or like what, what my opponents were going to be doing and all that kind of stuff, I think that I could have had a much better record than 1 and 4. But it's a difficult game, and sometimes your opponent has good champions. You know, Sometimes they have three um, pikes or just the Zed with all the protection for it and uh, cataclysms and everything that just makes Zed great. Or just, you know, that one they just, yeah, just never, never stopped, uh, you know, being r super aggressive there with the Lurker deck. I don't know. I think they could have done better. Make It Rain looks pretty bad. That, as far as there's, like, different cards in our deck, uh, nothing has one, like, nothing had one health. It just it didn't really kill anything. Um, the Fallen Feline looked very good. Um, the Practical Perfectionist looked very good. This card really overperformed. Making multiple copies of Time Trick, that, that looked really good. Slotbot looked really good. Um, Echo didn't look so good. So our, my opponents were just killing the Echo right away. Um, I don't know. Just got to keep on, keep on working, right? Like, that's the thing with these new decks. N you know, new lists. It's difficult to build decks that are just filled with interaction immediately when you don't really know exactly what you're expecting from your opponents with everybody playing new stuff. Um, and so that's always a, a difficult thing. It's much easier right away to be playing proactive decks and forcing your opponents to have the answers than the other way around, which is what we kind of saw there in those last few games. Um, but 
Uh, I was I was impressed with the fallen feline, pool shark, stress testing, rummage, time trick, practical perfectionist, slot bot. Um, not very impressed with make it rain, <laughs> and kind of even some treasure. Just never really had good some treasures. Um, so I don't know. Got to got to keep figuring it out. Anyway, that's going to be it here for this one. Those of y'all watching it later on YouTube, love to hear uh, those comments about the deck and about other decks you want to see, you know, like y'all just watch the video. Let me know what kind of, what kind of changes would you make? What, you know, like just even like how I'm playing, anything like that, give, you know, just keep giving me those pointers and uh, things like that. You know, like we got to work together and figure out, uh, you know, like these kind of decks. It's not easy to do, but uh, uh, love to see that feedback, but that's going to be it here for Echo's Fate. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.